Hello folks, this is Dean Saltonfuss of Dean of Real Estate, and I'm here with my buddy Josh. Josh Boggs, tall short sale guy, exposed homes Callaway. And we got a special guest today, Absolutely. and his name is Corey Ellers. You know, Say hi, Corey. How are you doing? Hi. Thanks for having me, guys. No problem. The reason we got Corey here today is because there's some big changes coming up uh, with lending, especially, and this is going to be really uh, important for you buyers and for your sellers because it's going to affect the market a little bit. And we want Corey to kind of help us out, kind of help ex explain it because he's on the lending end. He's the guy to talk to. It's called uh, public mortgage insurance, right? PM, yeah, PMI public mortgage. Public mortgage. No, public. No, okay. Private, okay. Private, 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 private. Ooh, it's, and it's not sure. premium either. Private, just think okay. of private FHA is kind of private. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah, private right, mortgage right, insurance, right. PMI. Everybody knows the term PMI, correct. Okay. So uh, yes, change is coming up April 18th, uh, here pretty soon, about a month. We're gonna make some more changes to the FHA PMI. Okay, but first, Corey, before we go into that, what is PMI? Why do we need it? PMI, uh, basically most people think mortgage insurance, they get mortgage insurance, they think it's protecting the mortgage. Right. Well, um, it's actually protecting the lender against uh, default. Mm, so if, if that person defaults on that loan, then they basically, banks. yes, the banks can recoup some of that loss through this insurance that the borrower has to actually pay for. So, so you're saying that people don't pay off of their loans? Correct. And then that's called a default. Oh right. my like gosh! Default. And, and, wow. then, and then you There's got a been a couple here. Yeah. And the foreclosure. Dean's <laughs> sort of a country bumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so anyway, these changes are coming, and it's uh, it's huge. Uh, I got a couple examples here on a hundred and fifty thousand dollars sales price. Uh, with the current PMI, you're looking at one hundred seven dollars and eighty three cents just for PMI. Very good okay. deal, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So uh, now with the new PMI, you're looking at the same sales price, one hundred fifty thousand. It's going to go up to one hundred thirty seven seventy nine. Ouch. You're looking at almost exactly $30 a month of difference. $30 more a month. And you know, the average mean price in San Antonio for the home sales is somewhere around like 160 or 170 something like that. Right. So the 150 example that Corey's getting is going to hit a lot of homes. That's like right. a, a daily beer budget for Dean that he just yeah. <laughs> that's, that's horrible. <laughs> Gosh. So, so anyway, okay, so this is pretty important news because that sure. means they're losing a lot of buying power. So you mentioned earlier before the video that uh, the whole $1,000 up sales price at $6 per month. Can you explain that? Right. So uh, the, the normal rule, roughly, what you're looking at for every $1,000 that you increase or decrease on the sales price, you're looking at about a $6 per month difference. Hmm. Okay. So, so if you take that $30 a month in PMI, Mm -hmm. Divided by the six, which mm -hmm. is the increase for. I'll let him do the math. Yeah, yes, I did it last time. It's fucked out. Okay, five thousand. So five thousand. So five. So, five, 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 <laughs> so you're looking at a five thousand dollar difference in sales price, basically. Which? Ouch. That's quite a bit. Well, that's almost like yes. the market just jumped up five grand all of a sudden. That's right. Yeah. Really so, so for you buyer out there who's out there looking, you think you're you're in the one forty five to one fifty five range. After eight, April 15th, it's real simple math. You're now in the 150 to 160 range. Either that, or you're gonna have to adjust down. Did he say math or math? Math is what math. I meant to say. Math. math. <laughs> and, and I know some of you buyers out there that I've been uh, driving around with, and you know, are just coming up, and saying, no time frame, guys. This is serious. Corey, when do you suggest we should probably be under contract? Uh, I'd say April 14th, because the lender actually has to order an FHA case number. You have to actually be under contract on the house. And get that FHA case number, and we're thinking right before that end of that deadline's coming, it's FHA is going to get bogged down with a bunch of orders, and it could take two or three days to get yeah. those actual orders in. April so, 14th, that's 15th. kind of a deadline. After April 14th, 30 more bucks a month you're going to be paying. So let's get moving. That's right. Yeah, that's absolutely. Right. Oh, and one real, one real quick thing. How many loans out there are, would you say, Corey, are FHA loans? Um, I'd say about 50% of all loans that are being done right now are probably FHA. Wow. That would so be why is that? Is it just because it's so much? Uh, it's uh, just the rates are great, uh, and you're looking at a buyer that doesn't have to have perfect credit. So okay. Okay. The, the credit guidelines are a little bit more flexible in those cases. So cool. um, a lot more people are going to be able to qualify through it. Uh, and I know real quick, just real quick, 15-year? Uh, the 15 year, uh, yeah, on FHA, actually the 15 year is staying the same as it always been. It's, cool. it's actually 0.25%. So that, that mortgage insurance on the 150, the same scenario we use, is only about $30 a month on a, mm. on a 15 year. So okay. Okay. yes, your payment will go up, but then again, uh, you're saving a lot on the PMI. Saving a lot of money. Year. And you're paying off earlier. Yes, saving a lot of money in interest. Very cool. Very good. There's Dean's fake director. Yeah, yeah my fake director is over there <laughs> pointing at us. He's kind of hollering at us. We're going to wrap it up again. 
for another segment of our little thing that we call, we don't have a name for the it. The Dudes yet. of Real Estate. But yeah, the Dudes of Real Estate. On, real man. Estate, San Antonio Dudes of Real Estate. Right. My name is Dean Saltonfuss, the Dean of Real Estate. You can locate locate me at deansellshomes.com. Or you can locate me, I'm going to use locate, uh, at 210-286-4440 or exposehomes.com. And our guest. Corey Aylers, United Lending. Uh, MySAHomeLoans.com or my blog at CoreyOnline.com. Ooh, I'll keep your blog out there. Cool. That's right. All right. All right. Are you ready to do the, the finger the pointing? Finger thing. Okay, we'll keep it. All right. All right. All right, folks. Take care and have a good have day. Have a great day. <laughs>